the drive car, it's got a really good system where you can add down cells, up cells, and odd bumps. So if you're looking to add a odd bump, just want to show you how that can be done. So in products, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up this one here, this building academy, just to show you what we mean by a odd bump. So if I just load this up. So you can see here we've got the checkout. And then at the bottom, before the complete order, they have the order bump to tick. They can tick that. And as you can see, then it adds it on as seven pound for the purchase. So I want to show you how you can get this added, as well as how you get this linked up in regards to automations and things like that. Because of course, what we want to do is that when someone buys this and they tick that, that they automatically get added into our learn plus section where this magazine exists as well so what we do so if we go back to products and um, what you do is create a product so i'm just going to press edit on this one just so you can see the process so in here what you would want to do is when you get to the bump tab you would tick this saying you want to set up a bump offer you'd give this bump offer a name then you would give it a price so here we've got a seven pound and on here, you can check if you want it to be pre-selected or not. So I choose to not have it pre-selected. And then we can go to next again, um, next, and next. And then it comes to this fulfillment section here. So what we can see here, it's saying nothing about the bump purchase at the top bit. It's here. So you can see here, select the Thrive Cart course to apply for a bump purchase. So I'm saying I want you to add them into the social magazine, which is a course within my Thrive Cart section but also to add a tag on them as well, TSM, because I like to make sure we get all the tags that they need. The tags is a feature that's in the Learn Plus section. So here, that's what it's going to do. So if they buy the main product, it adds them into this building academy. But if they buy the order bump, it also adds them into the social magazine. So then the next step would be to actually customize the checkout. So when you get onto a design, if you just press Launch Editor, it will put the order bump automatically on for you, but more than likely it's not in the right place and it might have been underneath something. So it's more than likely popped it somewhere around here. So I would always encourage you to pop it above the complete order button just by clicking on it, holding the click and dragging it up. And there we have it. Now you do have a few limitations with the design side of this, but it's really good for what you can do. So if you click on it, you can choose if you want the heading or no heading. Do you want a subheading or no subheading? You can put an image on as well. So I choose not to have an image on this, but you can put an image in here. So like if I just clicked on this, um, um, I'm just going to choose that image there. You can choose an image and we can see that goes in on there. Um, you can choose the image width so you can customize it to make it the correct width that you want as well. Um, then if we just click back on that, you've got the background color. You've got the border color. So I'd always encourage something like a yellow or a red for the border color to make it stand out more. And something that I always encourage people to tick is further down, um, we've got the arrow. So we definitely want to have the arrow on. So this is this bit here. So just make sure you've got that on because it's really attractive for getting people to see exactly what you want them to do. So 100% get that on. And then, of course, you can take a a toggle or a checkbox so they can either tick the box or they can do a toggle i prefer a toggle there's no preference though on it you can have whichever one that you want there's no preference do some testing and see what works best for yourself and then once you've done that you can just press done you've designed it out now and then it is literally done you just press next and complete and that is it that's how you would add a order bump on done and dusted so if i just press save and get url you should now see this page will have changed just to prove that that's how you do it. So if I just bring this up, we can see now it's got the image on there and obviously they can toggle that on and it adds it to their order for them nice and easy. And that's as simple, that's all you need to do. So of course, if it was something where you wasn't actually going to have it where it is a course to get added into, then you would, could use stuff such as Zapier so that when the order bumps actually purchased, but it would do something for you. So when it comes to the behavior section as well, if I just click add a rule, you can see here you've got stuff such as the bump offer is purchased. So you can say if the bump offer is purchased, use active campaign, add them to a list and add them to a specific list. You can also do it if it's refunded the bump offer as well, but you can do it through that or you can do it through something using Zapier to connect it up to your email marketing system as well. And that's as simple as that. Um, so please let me know if you've got any questions in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, again, please let us know in the comments if it worked for you and hopefully you are getting on well with Thrivecat.